guess what showed up for the greenhouse? Hot dog. What is up everybody? So it has been a while since we've done an update for the greenhouse. So let me get you caught up to what we've done. Progress has been kind of slow, but it's getting going again. We got this fence put up just to separate the muddy area from the grass, We're trying to keep the dog out of all the mud. And then we got the gas line over here completely installed, pressure tested, that's all ready to go. We just got to run it into the building for the heater. So let's come inside and check this out. So first, before we get too far, I want to tell you guys we got some exciting life update. Uh, for those that don't know, I've been working out of town for probably the last 14 months or so. So I'm really only home one to two days a week and I've still got stuff to take care of the house when I'm home. So it's made progress on the greenhouse super hard and slow, but I am no longer working out of town, which I'm super excited about. I'm gonna be working locally. So I'll get to go home every single night, which means I will have a lot more time to work on the greenhouse. So things are really gonna start coming together, but I'll show you what we got going on now. We're gonna run the gas line in and get this thing hooked up. This heater is a 100,000 BTU Modine hot dog. And uh, these normally hang from the ceiling, but we don't have a structural ceiling here, so we gotta figure out how to make some sort of brace for it to get it all hung up. But yeah, that's the plan today. Get this hung up, and if we're lucky, get gas run out to it. But you guys gotta understand, as soon as the greenhouse is heated, it is like go time. We can pour concrete, we can start building the pond. I can bring dirt in here, plants in here, start bringing insects in here. Like things are gonna start coming together really quick. And then here soon, we got another little surprise for you coming up. So we just ordered something awesome that is gonna go right here. It is gonna be really cool. But uh, let me know in the comments, take a guess. Let me know what you think it is. We'll have a video coming up as soon as it shows up. All right, so for the frame, we're kind of thinking of using this stuff. So we're thinking we'll have a piece like this up against the back wall and then a piece like this. <laughs> and this is where the heater will hang from. And then this piece to support the front. It's really loud in here, but I don't know. I'll show you more of the greenhouse, but that's what we're thinking is getting some longer pieces like this. Just trying to make that work, so yeah. Okay, so we got a final plan for what we're doing here, but we had to add some more framing to it. And everything that we frame in here has to be redwood and water treated since it's gonna be super humid. So we had to do that last night, kind of stopped the progress yesterday, but we're back at it today. This isn't actually what it's gonna look like. This is a very rough example, but let me show you. So basically, we added this framing over here, and then we're gonna have to add some framing for the vents. Basically, we're gonna have something like this, you know, with bars going across on the top, and one of these over there on that 4x4 too, and that's what the heater will basically hang from. So, that is the plan so far, and yeah, let me show you something else awesome. So we had to go paint these last night, and then we woke up this morning to come work on things, and look at this. We had a hell of a snowstorm last night. So, it snowed last night. It is like 30 degrees outside. I'm still in here working on a t-shirt. It is 60 degrees in here almost, so awesome.
this is what we got built up. We have two of these. So one will go on each side. So we'll mount here like this. We got big lag screws going all the way down this side to hold it in. And then there will be one other one over there. And then some more of these angle iron pieces going across. And the heater will hang from the bottom of those. So hopefully she's sturdy enough. All right, so we got the frame all done and up there. And now we gotta figure out how to get this heavy ass heater up there. So easier said than done. I wish we had a lift or something, but we do not. So we are making do. All right, so we got the heater all hooked up finally, or mounted at least. And that was a pain in the ass. That thing is heavy. Getting it all the way up there is pretty hard. Might not look like it in the video, but that's probably 12 feet up there, you know? So we ended up getting it up there with a bunch of ratchet straps, and just slowly ratcheting it and working it all the way up. Would not recommend that way. Just rent a lift if you're ever gonna do this, but we got it all mounted up. That is gonna be it for tonight. We're running out of daylight, unfortunately, so. Now we will probably wait till next weekend and then run the gas line out to it, hook up the vent to it, and things go good, get it wired, and we will be functioning. We're gonna have heat.